What's up, YouTube? This is Josh coming at you, and we got the Video Games Monthly live on location in my backyard where wintertime has finally arrived. Stay tuned. So welcome back, you guys. So as you can see, the fall leaves have fallen all to the ground. I actually spent a couple days, and it takes a couple days here with all these leaves to clean them all up. Getting ready to head back to work here tomorrow. Had a few days off of work. Hopefully, uh, we'll get something cool out of this VGM box we got right here. Once again, didn't get out to anywhere. Uh, didn't have time to do it. So we're just going to open it up right here while we enjoy this cigar and this awesome brewski that we got right here. What do we got today? We got the Motor Oil Black IPA. This one comes to us from Big Truck Brewery. These folks are out of Parkton, Maryland, I believe. Uh, some of their cans say Parkton, some of them say Queenstown, Maryland. I don't know if they brew it in Queenstown, but they have a tap house in Parkton. Uh, Parkton, it's maybe 45 minutes or so from me. So I have had this one before in a full disclosure. It's a really tasty, tasty black IPA. Mm, it is really good. It comes in at 6.2% ABV. And if you enjoy IPAs and you enjoy a little bit of a darker beer too, I do have taken kind of a shine to these black IPAs the more I find them all over the place. But definitely check this one out. The Motor Oil, and uh, it lives up to its name. Check that out. Check how dark that is. All right, so Video Games Monthly. You guys know what VGM is. Uh, everybody knows what VGM is by now. You've watched my channel long enough to uh, know that. You've watched probably a million other channels doing the unboxings as well. They do. Different plans depending on what you want out of your out of your box every month. I get a five game box. You can do a three game, a four game, and I believe a ten game as well if you're into that many games at one time. There's our boy Floyd upside down. <laughs> Different price points for each plan depending on what you want. Like I said, um, go to videogamesmonthly.com. Check them out if you haven't before. I highly recommend them. I think this is like 26th or 27th box that I've gotten from them. I've had them for a couple years. And I've enjoyed them every month, honestly. I feel like they give me pretty good value for my money. I usually get pretty good games. If uh, there are ever any duplicates in the box, they take care of it. If it's their fault, if it's my fault, it's on me. You gotta update your list every month by, I think it's seven days before the end of the month to make sure that you're not gonna get any duplicates in your box. I pay a total of $52.99 for the five game pack. That is after the shipping because I think it's like eight bucks for the shipping. So let's see what we got in here. Feel it around. It feels like we've got, it feels like three N64 games, a regular Nintendo game and a disc based game, which has to be Wii U because I have four systems chosen for my box. I have Wii U. Sega Master System, Nintendo, and Nintendo 64. So let's see if we can find the cards or something that are in here. Like I said, I feel five games, so I know there's no one-up. I never get the one-ups anyway. To be honest with you, I've got a theory about the one-ups. I think if you're getting the one-ups, it's usually because you're getting some kind of crappy game and uh, they're just trying to make it up for it. So there's our video games monthly card. There's a card for premium edition games. They must partner with them because I've seen them one a couple times before. Let's just go straight off the top it feels like we have a disc based game and it is a wii u game and what do we have right here it is call of duty ghost all right so i actually have this already for ps3 but i have actually never played it so i think the copy that i have for the ps3 is actually sealed so we might just burn this one up right here has the disc no manual but a lot of these games don't have manual so i'm going to call it a complete copy it looks like it's in pretty good shape Throw something up here to show you guys what the game looks like. Most of you probably already played it. Uh, I went through a run with the Call of Duty games where I played like all the Modern Warfare games and the Black Ops games and stuff, but then I kind of fell off of it. So just haven't really uh, been playing them that much since then. Let's go do uh, N64 and we'll save that Nintendo game for last. So the first N64 game we have out of the box is Quest 64. All right, so the N64, not a very solid system when it comes to rpgs there's only a handful on it i think there this might be only one of like three or four games that are on it um i remember playing this one vaguely 
years back when I had my original N64. Wasn't anything special, definitely wasn't my favorite RPG on the system even. I think uh, Ogre Battle is a superior game. It's kind of a turn-based, like a uh, real-time strategy RPG. But if you get a chance to check that one out, it's a little bit more salty, but definitely cool to get this one and add it to the collection. So that's very cool. All right, so let's see. The next one we got in here is a rental cart and it is Ken Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball. Cool. So we got a little bit of markings on the front. That's, we can get that off nice and easy. We got a sticker on the back. That's why I said it was a rental cart. I'm not sure about this one. I don't recall playing this one back in the day or not. Some of you guys may be more familiar with it than I. The Nintendo 64 did have quite a lot of sports games on it, and a lot of them were actually pretty good games. So hopefully that will be one of those. All right, so the last N64 game we have is a blue cart, and it is Bassmasters 2000. Okay, cool. This cart is uh, in excellent condition. I have never played it before. I'm assuming it's some kind of 3D style of... Uh, fishing game obviously so we'll put something up here for you guys to check out see what it looks like the final game in the box as I said original Nintendo it is a licensed game we have looks like Trogue all right cool so I've actually played this game before um this is a kind of like a um, it's almost like a Pac-Man type of clone you play as the little the little blue dinosaur guy right here. I'll put some up here for you guys to see. You're uh, being chased around by the little cavemen guys. You have to collect all the eggs on the screen. It's kind of like a maze you go through. There's power-ups you can grab that let you turn into like a big T-Rex dinosaur thing that you can eat the other guys with. But this is very cool. Uh, the cart is in excellent condition. Just a little bit of writing. Whoever CB was, it was CB's game at one point in time. And uh, other than that, the label and everything else is in fantastic shape. Get a little nip off of that right there. And uh, as I said, that is everything that's in the box. There is actually a little sticker inside the box. Actually, it looks like there was two stickers inside the box. We got a Yoshi, we got a Mario. That's it. That's all she wrote for your boy Floyd. We got some cool N64 games that my friend Black Ranger is going to be jealous of because I know he's announced that he's running for a full set of these, as am I, but I'm kind of doing it. Slow rolling towards it, getting them as they come my way. We got a uh, Wii U game, which we don't get a lot of every month that I did not have. In the, and we got a Nintendo game to add to the collection. I'm going to have to count these up and see how many of these I have. I'm, I know I'm at like 450 total games. As far as licensed games are concerned, I'm probably close to 400 of the licensed games. So very cool to get that out of the box. Oh, yeah. And there was uh, another sticker in the box as well. There was a Luigi. So... There we go. That's it for Video Games Monthly this month, you guys. And uh, all of y'all, it's getting cold outside. Not sure why I chose to do this outside because it is a little bit chilly, but I did want to smoke this stogie. So until next time, take care of yourself, y'all. Cheers.